You, how they got over to uh, winner semis? Utopian Ray. Utopian Ray. The, Utopian Ray, the, the Florida goal? player. No, Hold up. That was a joke. We're, we're, no, we're, we're, he's playing Two, Rosalina. One, Rosalina and Luma? That's who Utopian Ray plays. What are you talking about? He plays Paulu. <laughs> what do you mean? No, I'm getting he's gaslighted. Always playing I'm, playing gaslighted. I'm playing gaslighted. I'm playing no, gas. I'm getting gaslighted. If you know, I'm listen, getting gaslighted. In Smash Four, Utopian Ray was a Rosalina man, and he played. Is it Smash Four? I don't know, but this <laughs> this looks normal to me, dog. Like I, I see, I see Utopian Ray. I, I see never Rosalina. see the, the I see no Rosalina. Problem. I always see like the the Palu. Hello. Okay. To be fair, in Ultimate, like I don't see it very often. It is definitely yeah. a Palu. If I could interject, Ro uh, Ray has dabbled in Rosalina in Ultimate as well. That's what. I, that's what I'm. I've never seen it bracket though. Ice on stream. He's done it before. Ah, okay. Very cool, very also, cool. Also, John, you can't interject, bro. How dare you? Die. Anyway, I mean. Die, 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 die. Come to the match. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry, y'all just heard a, a threat on live on H3K. H Makes me inclined to talk about what's going on, because we right? got booty over here with the Meta Knight. Being booty. Why do all the Meta Knights start with the letter B, dog? I want to know. Bonk, booty, like... I just listed all the thing. Meta Knights. That's, that's all of them. <laughs> That's all. They, they all started B.O. That's interesting. Forward air. Going to be able to get that solid kill. Now, this matchup, you know, the sword can be kind of difficult for Rosa to deal with because first off, it's a god at getting rid of Luma. Literally, dash attack is one of the safest options you can potentially go for. Not, maybe not safest, but a fantastic option to go for to get rid of Luma immediately. Just knock him off as well as apply a little bit of shield pressure towards Rosalina. So got to be a little bit careful about the Luma as well as careful about those dimensional capes. Yeah, the, the thing with the, the booty using the mental cape, he doesn't use that often, but when he does, he always goes center stage. So when you're able to recognize that, it's easier to punish it so quickly. So, oh, uh, you, you, you'd be alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Just doing a little stall. You know, Rosalina's are really good at being able to try to buy a little bit of time while they wait yeah. for that Luma timer to go down. But, you know. Not that bad, though. You know, they have a really good amount of uh, percentage on booty right now. It's only racking up more as they kind of chill at 0%. And I'm trying to see if they're going to get a death right here. No, nah, not not quite. Oh. But like, like you were saying, really good at kind of mixing up the the, re the recovery time for uh for Rosalina just kind of her stall in the oh. air. Uh -oh. oh, there we go! Dash attack with the double tri triple platforms gonna allow him to be able to reset those jumps. However, able to escape. Good call in the up smash. Fantastic anti air option as well as just catching landings. It's gonna see it as a pretty popular KO choice for Rosalina and Ray. Yo, Luma living? I thought Luma for sure living. that I, for, I thought for sure that Nair was gonna knock it off. Nah, Luma built different. Y'all, y'all know. Oh no, never mind. Luma dead. dead. Wow. No blast zone. Good DI coming out from Ray gonna be able to get back onto the stage. Tornado? Raw? Mock? Neutral get up. Okay, punishing for neutral get up. Going all the way to the the, the, the rightmost platform and try and gain these uh, these landing aerials. He's that you know he's being really need, really needs. And honestly, I really good on his last stock. Bro, we live in the dream. I'm uh, we are little, uh, Luma gone. Goodbye, Luma. But hello, back throw. Oh, the hello base. forward throw. Do get, get that air dodge out of there. Just fall him out of there. Ooh. Oh, I said. If you're able to punish it, know where Booty's going with Dimensional Cape, which is always center stage, you can easily punish it with a forest smash, which is what Ray would have really uh, benefit from right then and there. Yeah, I mean, Ray had the right idea. They be I. He be I, though. He had the right idea. He, was going, he knew the Dimensional Cape was coming. He was trying to go for the punish. That Dimensional Cape was a little quick. You know, one of the things I always like to say about Smash Ultimate in particular is the punish game is... Uh, if you're trying to punish someone's like act, like singular action, yeah, it could be a little tough because there's a lot of quick landing lag in this game, or just ending lag in general, right? So a lot of people try to go for the um, punish the option after because they know that they're going to be able to buffer out like an air dodge, a roll, and so that's kind of what the game sometimes turns into. But if you're quick enough, you know, you see it coming. A lot of, a lot of reads are based though. So I definitely know this is Booty's counter pick with the uh, second music and the small battlefield pick. Second music, here we go, baby. This is this I know it's serious. This is a serious game. Kazuya your Mishima wins. I love Kazuya so much. Either way, we're not even watching Kazuya. We're watching Lord Lina, who is the complete opposite of Kazuya in, in every aspect ever. And we have Booty going these ladders, likely not getting the last hit on it. Good on him, but resetting it right yeah. back. That was actually smart of Ray to not 
Because, you know, Booty was clearly looking for the air dodge. Ray didn't want to give it to him, so... Because if he would have gone for it, Booty would have got the kill right yep. there. He was clearly waiting for some defensive scared option. But Ray is... Ray's been playing the game for a while. You know, like, he, he's no stranger to these, like, tactics. So he's going to not fall for that right away. Back to a toss him off. 115 on Booty. What's the call out here? I feel grab, but that's nice. okay. That's another punish we're seeing from Ray. Dash attack. You know, you only have like such a small window to get that punish, but Ray's on top of it. Honestly, he might be buffered it out because of the uh, any up attack out of shield. If they hit your shield, it comes out automatically if you're like matching it. Yeah. No attack right there, but Rosalind recovery. Ooh. Not even going to take him back to the stage. Yeah, Ray didn't have his double jump either, so mm -hmm. there was no way he was going back from that. Okay, what's the answer here? Dash attack pops him up into the air. Into the Keep air, using the platform as, as much as he can. Don't let Meta Knight go to the ground. He's difficult to get back down there. Even though he's got multiple jumps to mess with, his aerial mobility is not the strongest. Just fine, because he has wings. Yeah, right? Like, bro. Like, I played Superstar. He chases after you. <laughs> like, it is like some scary music going on too. Okay, well... Yeah, not getting it one more time. Sliding back to the stage. Very dangerous option for Booty sometimes. Okay, go, uh, you're seeing a lot of these back ears coming out because he's just trying to bait out like a jump out of shield, you know? Just in case, not even baiting, but just like throwing it out there just to cover options. Oh. Finally getting what he was wanting. A ladder combo into up B. That up, that up air string from Meta Knight, you have to be at such a like... You have to hit the first up there at such a specific position, as well as being that prime percent for it to all actually become true. So it's not, it's always like, if it's not true, then you have to play the 50 50 matchup game where like, are they gonna double jump? Are they gonna air dodge? Are they gonna retaliate? Are they gonna do nothing? Which at the end of the day is more than just 50 50. That's like a 25, 25, 25, 25. 25. You know, 25. Ooh, good coverage. That up tilt's gonna cover both neutral get up and roll to the left. I thought that was supposed to be a jab, but I guess the jab would have stopped the uh, the launch star. Luma still active and uh, out and about. Dang, Luna. Ray could have rolled out of that to the right, but it, he might have, because of the position he was in, he might have continued to get caught by the roll if he would have rolled in, you know? So I get why he was trying to go for the uh, parry instead. Good clogging, a lot of jabs coming out from Booty, feeling a little bit desperate to get back down on the ground. He's up all his jumps. One dash attack would be even easily pop right. Into, like this is a prime percent. If you can land a dash attack, this could potentially lead to something huge for Booty. He's just that. I think Ray's aware, so the way he's playing, he's trying to like be on the lookout for it. Offset, gotta look out for those nares. Gonna retaliate with an up air of her own. Right, dash attack. Kind oh. of missing that upping. I'm not gonna get ready. Too much. For it. We are gonna get punished for it. Too much rage. Too much too rage. Much rage. He, like he had it. Like he even went for it too. You saw it. Dash attack popped her up in the air. Just like he went for the hail mary with the off beat, even though that was not guaranteed. Right there, like I said, he has 147 percent, so it's gonna make it a little bit more difficult. Let's watch that again. This jump tries to get it, but easily, easily Ray escapes with the double jump. And Rolling because he back. went for it, it, it suddenly this this thing that's important. It put him into a huge disadvantage afterwards, right? Because he was just trying to like go for the upbeat, but all of a sudden now he has to grab the ledge. He has to now make a decision of rolling on. What get, what's my getup option? And then Ray suddenly found himself in advantage, all because he was so desperate for that upbeat. You know, he was, that's what happens sometimes with Booty. He does get really desperate for that hail mary upbeat, and you know, as we saw just now, he got punished for rolling into the ledge into a into up smash. So. Yep. That was already two 